One and a half cups. Monica and John are baking. It's one of the many things they love to do together. But they don't have any family recipes. One and three quarter cups of flour. They're creating their own traditions. Because finding family in each other took a lifetime. We only met two years ago. So you're talking about 58 years for me and 51 for him. That's a lot of time to catch up on. I'm gonna make dinner and have cake. Monica Schuss is seven years older than her brother, John Tominelli. A brother she didn't know she had growing up as an adopted only child in Queens. I never had a birth certificate. You couldn't find anything. I mean, especially back then, there was, there was just nowhere to go. John grew up farther east on Long Island. He was also adopted into a family with older parents like Monica's. I grew up kind of shy with anxiety. My world was very small. I lived very cautiously because I was alone. They were both living with a void, a missing ingredient. Do the when they got older, they registered with the New York State Adoption Registry, John in 1991 and Monica in 1998. But decades passed with no word. They both married and had children, but wondering if a sibling was out there never went away. <laughs> then in March of 2019, they got letters with each other's name and address. Monica rushed to find her long-lost brother on social media. I wrote, hi, John, did you get the letter? They met and instantly felt complete. We just hugged and we didn't let go, and it was just like this warm feeling. We never even met before, but it was like just instantly knowing. All those years, Monica and John held tight to their faith, even when they felt they had nothing else. I truly believe that because I was a good person, this miracle is what I got back. I've asked God, put me where I should be. If I do the right things, I'll be rewarded. And this was my reward, meeting Monica. <laughs> At the beginning of the pandemic, they knew they couldn't be apart. So John moved in with Monica and her children Come here, Kiki. and pets in Ozone Park. As their family blended, they knew what happened to them wasn't an accident. There were just too many signs. The first day we spoke was our mother's birthday. We have the same birthday. The same birthday. Um, my daughter's the same birthday. I mean, our son has uh, one day later. Our adoptive mothers both passed away during the same year. They prayed they'd find each other for so long. Now their wish is to help others like them. If you just keep the faith, don't give up, you will be blessed. And we want to we want to help other people to have that blessing and have that feeling. Now, there are no more questions. They have each other, and it's all the proof they need. In Ozone Park, Jessica East Hope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content, because we are putting your faith in the news.